Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering input and output tables, specifically tables that involve multiplying and dividing. So as you can see on your screen, we have four tables, two uh, horizontal, side to side, and two vertical, up and down, that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. Now each problem is going to have a blank section of the table that we need to fill in based on the rule that we need to find. So let's jump right into number one here where we have, we start with an input of eight and an output of two. So we put an eight in, something is done to that eight and a two is our output or what comes out. So how do we get eight to equal two? And then moving along down the table, 24 to equal 6 and 28 to equal 7. So we are decreasing in value so it's going to be either subtraction or division. But this this video is only multiplying and dividing so we know it's going to be division. So what do we divide 8 by to equal 2? Hopefully you're thinking 4. Now let's see if it works for the others. 24 divided by 4 is 6 28 divided by 4 is 7, and then for our blank, 12 divided by 4 is 3. So our rule is the input divided by 4 equals our output. Now a common mistake on this one would be to see that 8 equal 2, well we could subtract 6 and then automatically thinking the rule is eight minus six, or I'm sorry, input minus six gives us our outputs. Well, it only works for the first one. So you always need to check multiple um, corresponding terms or pairs within your table to make sure that rule applies to everything. So number two, we start with a two here, and that two corresponds with 10, so how do we get it to equal 10? 8 to equal 40, and 20 to equal 100. So we are increasing in value, so it's going to be multiplication. So hopefully we're thinking multiplying our inputs by 5 will give us our outputs. 2 times 5 is 10, 8 times 5 is 40, 20 times 5 is 100. So 5 times 5 for our blank is going to be 25. And our rule that applies to everything in that table, if we take an input and multiply it by 5, we get our output. All right, number three. This is a vertical table up and down, but it's the same exact thing that we did for numbers one and two. So we start with a 14 here and we get two. 42 to equal six, 70 to equal 10. So we are decreasing in value, so it's going to be division. So how do we get 14 to equal two? Well, we can divide it by seven. 42 divided by 7 is 6, and 70 divided by 7 is 10. So we need to think here for the blank, what divided by 7 equals 3? And the answer to that is 21. So our rule is input divided by 7 equals the output. And lastly, number four here, it looks like we are increasing in value, six to equal 18, eight to equal 24, and 25 to equal 75. So each one of those inputs is being multiplied by three. Six times three is 18, eight times three is 24, 25 times three is 75. So what times three equals nine? Well, three times three equals nine. So our rule, our input numbers are being multiplied by three and that equals our output. 
So there you have it. There are some examples for input and output tables that involve multiplying and dividing. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.